been um, pretty nice, very nice. I love playing in this weather. It's sort of nice and cool, but not too cold. I mean, it's a little bit cool in the morning, but as soon as that sun comes up, it uh, warms up pretty quickly. Oh, awesome. Is that a good angle for you? Yeah, great. And another thing is, I think we, last time we worked on trying to keep the hands on the in the backswing, but I just I, I've been finding it pretty hard to to implement. Oh, in the takeaway. Yeah. Gotcha. See a couple more, Han. Let you get warmed up there. What's that one doing? Uh, that was like a sort of really high pull. Okay. Good contact. It's just um, just a pull. Yeah, movement looks pretty good there. Let's see two more, and then I'll look from the other angle. Yeah. Okay, that started. That was a straight up ball. Yeah, lots of good going on there, Han. Looks pretty simple movement wise right now. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I've noticed I've been able to sort of uh, hold my follow through a lot, a lot more. What would you contribute that to? Do you think? Just being more active in the lower body, like I just feel more stable, and I feel like. My my legs are doing more of the work now as opposed to the upper body. Yes, yeah. So right now, it seems like that's the miss would be just small pull. Yeah. I tell you, your backswing, like for it feeling hard, I, I think you're doing a pretty good job with hands, you know? Okay. I'll try and I'll try and drive the lower body a, a little bit harder this time and try and keep the try and keep my upper body behind the ball a bit more. See what happens. Okay, there's still a little bit left, but not as bad. I tell you the finish looks pretty awesome there, Han. Yeah.
this time I'll, I'll try and feel like I'm sort of releasing it just to the right, right of target. Oh, yeah. Better? That's a straighter ball flight, yeah. How is height? Uh, that was more of a medium, sort of slightly lower than the others, but that was basically like dead straight. Yeah, maybe let me see one more, and then I want to just check the behind down the line. I just want to see what how we're doing there. Yeah. Body body motion looks pretty good though, huh? Do you think my takeaway is wide enough? Because I I think sometimes I just get narrow and I lift my arms up. Uh, like, these these ones I would say looks pretty good from a width standpoint. Okay. Ooh, that was like a high draw, but a little bit too much of a of a draw on that one. That started pretty straight, but it curved like uh, 30 yards. Okay, so it ended up finishing left then? Y yeah. Yeah, that was pretty much the same slide, really high, and uh, finished left of target. Okay, let me see down the line if I could, Han. Yeah, sure. Any golf today? Uh, yeah, I might. I might play in the afternoon, have a play like nine holes or something. Awesome. I've been playing a lot of golf recently, so I, I sort of want to just um, take some time and and um, groove my swing a little bit. Just let me know if you want me to adjust the camera. No, it's perfect. I've moved the ball up in my stance close to my lead foot, and it seems to help contact. Yeah, uh, no, especially looks... with the yeah, especially with the longer clubs, not really hooking them as much. I used to hook them a lot, but yeah. Oh, that was really straight. Yeah. And focus in the backswing right now, Han, is... The focus on the backswing? Um, yeah, just reach or... Just just trying not to, to overswing, because I used to get, like... My right shoulder used to just go way behind me. Yeah. So I'm just sort of trying to... One new thought is trying to get that lead shoulder to get closer to my right foot to yeah. my trail foot in the backswing and then that sort of like i noticed that that sort of automatically pushes Get your my hip back. back yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll be pretty happy with that. It's, it's a little bit left, but...
Two more here. Yeah, that one was a bit, a bit pulley. Okay. Good one more. Though. Okay, that was pretty straight. That one, oh. that one was weird. Felt like I was um, like cutting across it, almost like I wanted to slice it. Yeah. But that stayed. That started straight and had a slight draw on it. So, like, you know, we'll see what what you feel if this how this feels. So check this out, Han. So that's the takeaway right now. Yeah. So uh, uh, to me, like when this, that club looks pretty far behind you, you see where it is? Yeah, it's the same problem as last time, yeah. Yeah, but he, like from that position, you get it back. So it ends up getting into an okay spot there. It's just pretty hard to, um, from there, like coming into impact, the tendency was the left wrist would have to stop because the the momentum of the club was sort of coming in and over like here's champ post impact right so obviously that's gonna be a little bit lower shot than this one yeah <clears throat> right so you know to me we can pick and choose which one i just know with driver if it goes from there to there there's a chance you could hit a push cut with that you know yeah so I, I, I like the leg motion. I like what the upper body's doing in the transition. The two things that stand out to me is just where the club is it in that backswing and then transition. And then at impact, you have to put the brakes on because it's sort of momentum's coming this way. And then what you do is you just sort of stop that hand and hit it. Um, but the leg motion's awesome. I, I would definitely keep that the same, you know? And I like the left shoulder feel. I think that's super important too, you know? yeah okay so, so I'll, I'll try and get a little bit try and get that shaft a little bit more uh, vertical in the takeaway i would like that i, I think it would yeah. be helpful for um how the club wants to rebalance yeah it's great Okay, that's different. That went out to the right. That was like a push sort of fade shot. Yeah, that was not bad. I would just say twice as much if you can, Han. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, that was, uh, that was straight. Awesome. Yeah, the rebalance there was better. You know, it didn't have to do as much. And it's, it's still, like, it's definitely, I'm sure you feel like it's more vertical than that one, but that's where that backswing is. So I still would like it. Your demos are, are a little more in front. I don't know if I got a demo here, but that, so that takeaway is getting there wow, right so yeah because that's still, not really vertical but yeah doesn't no, look like it no no definitely not overdone like if we go just from a visual standpoint i'll give you a let's see here how about this one
So here's a visual for you, Han. Just like to see, I'm not sure if we'll get it all the way to there, but so this is the last one where you're trying to feel up. And then there's row. So just like reference the club versus his hip here, right? Yeah. So right. there's that, that shaft is going through the right arm. Yeah, yeah, just above the right arm. And then the club would be just above his sort of hip. And then in this one, the club is over here, right? Yeah. Okay. So just, yeah, I think we just keep, it will be interesting to see what the club, how it rebalances if we get the takeaway to there, you know? I'll try and feel like I'm setting the club, uh, setting the wrists earlier in the backswing. Okay. See if that helps. Nice. I just missed that one. Let's see another one. Yeah, that was that started straight, but it was uh, really high. Yeah, I think that the high part we'll definitely be able to address right as we just keep getting this backswing a little bit more balanced. Um, was that the more better? I watch it, Han, I think it's a little bit of that that right arm sort of going like this. What was that? That uh, right elbow sort of going like this as you start, like the right arm yeah. ends up over here. I would just, you know, keep feeling like this stays in front of your body when you do that. And that will help the club go up. If my right arm pulls behind, that's sort of leads to the club over that way a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> so, so feeling of sort of wider takeaway. Yes. Yeah. Almost like your hands are going to be, yeah, like, the rear right arm just going to be a little bit more in front of your face there coming back. Yeah, that's a good visual right there. Pretty, pretty solid there. Yeah, it's moving, hon. We not nothing's overdone for sure, but it's definitely moving. Yeah, feeling like there's a wall right behind you. There you go. Good. Yeah, at the almost like if you had yeah, if you're doing a swing in your living room and you're standing against the wall, you would have to miss the wall. There you go in the back swing. Oh, uh, you mean don't go like that? Correct. Yeah, and, you would hit the yeah. wall there. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that was much straighter. Yeah, it just and it definitely looked like less, like the club didn't have to work. It's still a little bit more behind than I'd like, but it it's moving more more in front. Definitely not overdone yeah. though. Okay.
Uh, I think that was got two behind me there. Do you want? Uh, do you have an extra alignment stick? Yeah. Just do make it like an extension of the club so you can sense where the club is. And then show me the first. Show me halfway back where the that uh, stick points straight at your toes. When you get to about chest high. Yeah, have it point right to your toes. Turn a little more, reach a bit more. Yeah, there you go, good. There you go. Yeah, hands a little more behind you. There, but the club, yeah, hands a little more behind, but the club still points at your toes. Hands more behind you. There you go, there you go, good. You feel the difference of what the wrists are doing there? Yeah, can you take a capture of that? Of wanna... course, yeah. Here, it is. I got it right here, Han. <clears throat> so this is, I'll give you the, it's not the exact same frame, but. So here's the rose one. Here's your old, and then here's your new. So we got, so here is, there's rose. Yeah. And this is, this is your old, right? And then this is what you just did. Wow. Okay. So that that felt like it was basically like uh, vert, to, like totally vertical. But see how that shaft looks like it'd be in the same sort of position there. Yeah. And then this is the other one, right? Right. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Super, super cool there, Han. All right, so we'll just try that again. Yep. Um, so it's almost like your hands are in front of your chest and the club points down a little bit, you know? Hands are in front of the chest. A little more behind. Oh, yeah. with the, there you go. Yeah, right there, Han. Perfect. That's fine. And then, and then with, you can, with, the up, with the right hand, uh, right arm, like, do you want me to I would say try to have it point at, yeah, I would have it point more at the ground if you can, if you feel comfortable there. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. Okay. Do that one more time. I'll just take a screenshot of that right arm when you have it like that. Right arm, there you go, right there, perfect. Okay, so check this out, Han. Watch how good this is. It's actually super interesting. So I'm not sure what it feels like there, but like watch um, just from an arm position and club position, look at this. So see the space between the elbows and then where the shaft points? Yeah. So basically, you don't you don't want that right arm to go to fall behind too much. It, then... If you have the shoulder range, right? If you have the control to have your arm sort of stand up, then then we can keep that elbow sort of in front of us. The more it gets behind, the more when I come down, it's going to want to go out this way or for you it would get behind and then it would sort of come in front so that led to the club getting on top where this way the elbows are a little more together so then when i come down i can almost have it fall a bit more behind me with the club right versus when it's over yeah. here this is the start to there right yeah yeah and and again short irons it's okay but when we get driver the odds uh start working slightly more against you yeah Show me that demo one more time. Yeah. <clears throat> Albos, nice, Han. Huh? That's great. 
Can you do that from there? So just hit hit a small small chip. Cool. So watch watch this, hon. I just want to show you. So this is so here's so watch how the club works now, right? See it up in the sky. You see yeah. the club head? Now watch what it does yeah. from that position. Uh, just, yeah, because, yeah, uh, cool. So it falls way more behind you where obviously when the club was heavy at the start, you know, like in the first one here, when the club, when the club is heavy over here, right? Then as you come down, it rebalances the other way, right? So it goes from over there to there. And now we go to the new one this way. And it's there, balanced, and then it can fall, right? You see how, watch how passive everything looks. <clears throat> see that? Yeah, huh? that it, it felt like I was just dropping the arms there. I guess yeah, I, and I, then, I didn't feel heavy at all. Yeah, no, it looks so good. And then we can, we can uh, start to get the body to help you again, right? Yeah. Good on you could probably strengthen that right hand grip just a little because I think it's on top just a bit which is making it a bit harder for the takeaway that takeaway wasn't as much as the demo let's alternate between the demo and then a reel. Yeah. <clears throat> Right pieces, Han. Just club balance wasn't perfect, but not bad. <laughs> Elbows. Yeah, great, huh? That's it. At at impact, it feels like my my left wrist is sort of doesn't really feel flat. It feels like I'm sort of still doing this. Yeah, you are probably. It's what I like. Watch how th this has moved immensely, Han, um, from the start to now. So check this out. So watch how the club's moving now. See how it does it? It, it, it rebalances a lot. Like it's not as dramatic of a change. Uh, it's definitely better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way better. Way better. And here's your demo, just so you can see the. There's the demo, right? So we're still trying to get as close to that position as we can, but we're definitely getting what closer. The, What's that? The, what was my swing? Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. Right, so the club That's right there is, too. yeah, it's still a little bit behind, right? But the rebalance is pretty good. And I think as you keep doing that, then we're gonna be able to continue to get that lead hand 
uh, to get a little flatter post impact, you know, versus because it's more here and then it's falling behind and I can drive for you, drive that lead hand a little bit longer through the shot, you know? Okay. Um, there's an interesting thing I want to ask too is I've been practicing my 50 yard pitches yeah. with my um, sandwich and um, I think I'm, I just want to see if I'm doing the same thing with my pitch shot. So okay. can you just record this one? Sure. All right. Uh, a little less to me. It's like, so it's, it, okay, it's, so it's still pretty similar. Yeah. Right. But you're doing a great job. Like to me, it's a little bit less, um, than the iron swing. Like it's, it's slightly behind there, but it sort of stays. It doesn't change too much, you know? Yeah. Body motion. Pretty good though. On the way through there, actually incredible. Yeah. I um I watched that episode of you helping that um helping Matt from Takes J out with his pitch shots. Yeah. And um it's uh because I used to have like a really long swing, and I used to try and do this, but I just found I just found I had really bad contact and I would decelerate, um and then like duff it or I'll thin it. Yeah. So you know I've been trying to just rotate the body. Through to help with protect. yeah no it looks good hon i i um i thought the way you're transitioning there and into impact looks incredible there you go good tight elbows nice club down even more per perfect that's your feel yeah at least there hon i mean this is uh okay. So the club feels really light. Okay. Great. Hmm. Easier. That was pretty pretty decent. Like really really high ball flight though. Yeah, we'll start bringing that down in a sec. I just need to see two more of those. That was a little bit low in the face. Getting there, Han. Show me one where you do the pause again at the top. Good. Now just chip it. Oh. Okay, do that same thing and then show me, um, try to feel like your left wrist is flat at impact with the same drill. Yeah. So still use your body. Let me just, it's just, you're just chipping a nice little flat one. Same drill. Yeah, good. Elbows tight. Club down more. Good. I want you to do the pause. Same thing one more time though. Yeah. Yeah. So I went left. Yeah, it was a, a heavy strike too. 
I mean, the movement was perfect. You just need to keep driving that, uh, you know, legs a little bit and then the hand a little bit, but the club position was insane coming in. Yeah, it's just that feeling of trying to get that left wrist like flat. Yeah. Sort of seems to lock it up, lock everything, lock it up, and then like a sort of um, sort of stop rotating through. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, what I think you're just used to. Um, it's just when the brakes come on in the body, you know. So it's like if if your sequence and the club's coming from a good spot, it should with good hip mobility or hip uh, dynamics and body but dynamics, it should delay the club just enough so the left wrist can get flat. But I think in this drill, you can actually think about it being flat. Yeah. Good, and letting your chest come through the shot, same stuff. Oh. That's okay, that's takeaway related. That's the only reason why when we start doing the impact because you're um you were just rebalancing it based on how your old takeaway was you know was that uh takeaway right there quite steep or was that no that no no steep? no still yeah. really really behind oh that's gotta be yeah <laughs> you're gonna need to feel like matt wolf you know just straight up yeah you know? Nice. Great, Han. Okay. Oh, that was different. Yeah, it's moving the right way. It's definitely like shifted a fair amount from the start. To, it, it, uh, okay, so it feels like I'm going like this, which is uh pretty cool. Yeah, that, that's what I want. Exactly. And the more you do the takeaway, so like this one, I'll show you where we got to. So that one's there now. What was that one? Was that the first one? That's what you just did in this last swing. Okay. Uh, and then, so I can still keep going yes, a bit more vertical with the shot. Definitely. Yeah. And then this, I'll just show you sort of where we started so you can see it's definitely shifted some. Uh, here's the first one. Here. So you'll see that the club, like relative to your, oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So here's the, here's where the last one was, right? So it's, you know, sort of here, like say two feet, probably behind your, your foot position. And then this is the first one probably like one two three and a half maybe Han you see that yeah definitely better yeah yeah oh yeah much more in front right and then we go to Rose and then it's he's about Even one foot deeper. right yeah does that make sense when I say that like yeah. that okay yeah so th those yeah. are good those are good reference points for you very cool though you've shifted it about a foot and a half which is a lot I think about the club in space that's a big move you know yeah. Great. Ah, uh, I was too behind me. You felt it? Yeah. So I can sort of feel it now, right? Good. And um, I, th I think part of it, though, is the takeaway just gets way too quick. Um, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll try and slow this down a little bit.
Wow, hon, that was amazing. Yeah. Same thing. It was nice to see you do it a little smoother, you know? <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't know about that one. Let's see how close. We're getting there, hon. That's still about two, two and a little feet okay. wise. It didn't have the same uh, circle. It didn't have the Matt Wolf circle there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, okay. so what happens if you what happens if you go two steep? Like if you go like. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Let's <laughs> got to get to that stage first. Right? Yeah, I would. I'd be curious to see what would happen for you. Uh, see, that's fun. I know it's not as vertical as you think. You want to see it? Yeah. So that one's right here. Oh, wow. That's a lot better. Yeah, it's definitely moving more. The You know, it's like it's still, I would like to see that shaft closer to that shoulder still. But it's it's definitely moving more. This one went a little bit on top still, though. You know, you see that, Han? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So that's the trouble move versus when we did the slow one. This one, I think that was really good. This one, I think this was a pause, maybe. What this one actually wasn't too bad because it didn't get too on top, you know. So that was pretty good. And then whatever that I'll have to look back to find that pause one that, but you see, watch this rep when you do it actually there, Han, watch this. So that's yeah. when it's in front of the shoulder, then see how it sort of falls back there. Yeah. I think, I think, um, it, it's, I get steep when I initiate the downswing with my arms as opposed to my lower body. Um, yeah. And momentum too, you know, like the club's going to travel in a circle. So if the club, like, think about how would you be shallow if the club's three and a half feet behind you, you know? If you try to go shallow from there, you just chunk it. So your brain yeah. has to adjust, you know? It has to, like, you couldn't really, unless you turned, like, mad to get the club back on top, it would be tough to uh, get it back onto a good spot. Yeah. That was a cool demo. I almost want you to just do one like jokingly like that same demo and then just chip it, you know, like slow motion. Like that? Yeah, like you're pretending to do an extreme demo and then just chip one. I just want to see what happens. Okay. That was actually pretty decent. A uh, bit of a fade on it, but... Yeah, I think it was probably just the face didn't catch up, but I'll just show you it, Han. Yeah. So that one, like, you'll see that the club there, now we got it at least in front of the right forearm, right? You see that? Yeah. It's and not I, as, like, outside as I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's why I wanted to show you. Like, you take it out there, like, you see the ball? Yeah, take it out, yeah. So I would like that to still come straight back, then go up, you know? This one, you just sort of right. went out and up, but at least it's getting in front of you there, you know? That's still much different than before. And the downswing and was then different. I fell, I, yeah. yeah, just the face was open, right? Like right there, the face yeah. is just slightly open. But that lets us start to do what you're doing at this, what we're talking about with the left wrist, right? Now the club's here, face is open, then I can start to get that wrist to start to turn down and then post impact, I'll be a little flatter, you know? Yeah. 
I think maybe I sort of stop rotating there as well. Potentially. Um, yeah, potentially. Yeah. But it, then you say, well, was it, did you stop rotating because the face was open? Or because if you rotate harder with an open face, it just goes more right. So then you, oh, right. Then you have to decide, okay, which one causes which. But I, it, potentially, you know, we'll see. I like that one though, Han. Oh, that's better. Yeah, much better. I was going to say, a drill, just take one of those empty baskets, Han, and, and set it up just outside the toe of the club, just outside, like where you're going to hit, just so that first move, the club comes in, and then you get it to go up as much as you can, you know? Yeah. You mean like here? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Just not so it's going to crowd you, but just so it makes you come in a little and then up. Yeah. See that last shot there? That was a nice sort of fade. It started straight, like a slight fade on it. Like that's really, and I felt like I rotated through, you know? Yeah, I love it. Just stopping. Yeah. yeah. That's huge. That's huge. And I think, uh, you know, all the things that you were doing should allow you to feel like you can do that. Like, I mean, I'd rather play that shot than the um, shots I was hitting at the start, the pulley draws. Yes. Because, oh, yeah. You know, you can't really miss left with that sort of shot, right? No, yeah. no way. Yeah. Oh, that basket is a little bit intimidating. I know, that's <laughs> why I said, just to help you go in and then go straight vertical. All right. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, nice job, huh? A little bit more fade than the last one, but it started straight. See, that this one we can function with, man. Like... There's just a lot, like here, I'll show you. So watch this, Han. And then we'll review this stuff. So like, watch this takeaway now. So see it, like that's pretty simple, you know? Yeah. And then it's in the forearm. It's way better. Just, yeah, it's way more in front. Now you're about a foot and a half behind. And then club face is pretty good there. Club face stays pretty good. Club face stays pretty good. Slightly open there, ever so slightly, but that face is, you know, pretty stable through the shot and the pivot looks good. So I, I think you're checking a lot of boxes there, Han. I mean, I, uh, my wrist felt really loose there. And I, I, I think I sort of, because of that basket was there, I was sort of hesitant about turning fast through the ball, you know? Yeah. For some reason, I don't know. But no, it was great. I'll try and turn through it a bit more aggressively this time. Okay. I would just keep paying attention to that face and transition, but we'll get there um, as you keep going through it here. Is that face a little bit open? Still open. Thing? Yeah, in the last two feet coming into the ball, it just needs to start squaring up. But like long story short, how it was rebalancing before it would, if you tried to square it up, you would hit it miles left. So you're, you're slightly hesitant to do that. Okay. Oh, that's better. Nice, huh? That's a nice fade on it. Takeaway is a different, yeah. in a different planet, Han. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, so good. Here, check this out, and then we'll uh, review this stuff. So we have, yeah. just so you see the spectrum of our takeaways from the start to now. So here's, here's the first one. Okay, so here's the first one. This is the last one. Right? So wow. now we've, yeah. we've moved it so much more. Look where it is over there, right? 
So I've still got room to go even more. A little so, bit, yeah. There's there's rows, obviously, even a little bit more. But it's um, it, and this is your demo, right? So that's great. But the thing I like on that that takeaway looks very functional. You know, it's not it's not um, working out first. It's coming. I like it. It's going. Watch this. It goes inside the basket, and then it starts to go up, and then we're squaring the face as we get to about here. And the club doesn't, yeah. see how it doesn't rebalance so on top anymore. So I, I think there's a lot of good, man. A lot of good. So let's just review this. So we have, what do we got? We got setup, look great. Um, still do the same thing with your ball position and all those keys, right? And then takeaway, I like the basket drill. Yeah, you want to just stand in there, Han, just so you can demo it for me? Yeah. So takeaway, love the basket drill, right? Making sure the club doesn't go too far out at the start. It's going in and then it's going up, right, Han? Yeah. And then it's almost like you just said, like you, you're keeping the wrist pretty loose and letting the body still help you. Um, sort of the side note to it was it's like going in a circle the other way and then we're trying to get the, the face to square through impact. That was the sort of bonus note. Okay, so I'll just... Demo this. So down, straight back like this. Yeah. And then, and then I start go up. Yep. Perfect. And Perfect. then that's basically it, right? Yeah. And then bit. from there, the club's gonna definitely want to fall behind you, and then you can start trying to square the face up. So square it up a little more. There you go. Good, huh? So that's the two. There you go, right there, yeah. And then you just, no, that's okay, where it was. That's fine, okay. too. Either one of those is going to be okay. And then as you yeah. go into impact, the left wrist is going to be flat as the body keeps opening up. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. That That looks uh, pretty square. Awesome. Great, hon. And that, you know, that will transfer into the driver, too, the same keys, you know. It just, I like the basket because, one, it slowed you down, and, two, it just made you aware where the club was moving.